We've entered the ice circle. The car is gonna come to a complete stop. That's crazy. It really does feel in a way like we're driving on asphalt. Do you trust me to drive the car too? Of course. Woo! Right now, I'm on a frozen lake in Sweden, um, and I'm here with two electric Mercedes EQSs. The EQS and the EQS SUV. It's been a few years since I've ice skated, but here we are. How thick is this lake? How thick is the ice? About this. And that's good enough for cars, good enough for ice skaters. Cars. This is polished ice right here. This is the section where it is the slipperiest. Now over here, you can see the ice. It is still ice, even though it looks just like snow, but that is not polished. It's around 10 degrees. Fahrenheit, which is really cold. I should probably be wearing gloves, but I just traveled for 48 hours to get here. It is crazy. Look at that. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna be testing the brake systems on these cars and all the traction control because there's more to the car than what you know. So last night we did something really fun and I got some drone shots of it. We went on this track that is a giant circle. Like it seriously feels like you are in like Mario Kart, really. It's a giant circle and it's basically the drifting circle. And so you drive really fast, like 100, 120 kilometers an hour and you drift. I'm gonna go drift in a car around Frozen Lake. So there's a few fun things that are out here. This one right here is kind of like a little course that weaves and then there's also one that's like a big old donut or circle where you just go around and you drift. They want to learn what kind of modes they can configure that come standard inside of a Mercedes-Benz car so that when you're driving around an icy corner that the car and the technology can actually help you so that you don't slide out as much. We're in this engineering car and on the screen, you can maybe see from here, but on the screen, we've got all these crazy graphs. It looks like a major earthquake is going on right now with all these lines everywhere. With the gas car, it's kind of like a dumb motor in a way. Like it's not as quick to react or to respond to the conditions that are on the road. With an electric motor, it's able to quickly feel what's going on and adjust. And so on the ice here, the rear wheels are even turning to different degrees to keep us on this path right here. We are in the middle of the lake. We're in the middle of the lake, which is true. We are going 107 and we're spinning out. Look at this professional. But it's still very easy to control. How is the car doing this? We're going sideways. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Fun and safe. Do you trust me to drive the car too? Of course. Of course, listen to that confidence. He saw me fly the drone today and he's like, you're so good at flying the drone, you've gotta be good at driving a car. We'll see. Look at all the ice just from that drift section. That right there is just from what we just did. Probably shouldn't touch it like that because it might scratch the paint, but wow. All right, it is my turn to drive and we're gonna be in comfort mode, right? Just right. regular mode. All right, are you sure you're comfortable with me driving your car? <laughs> okay, I'm accelerating here. So if I go up to 100 or so, it'll just, I'll start to feel it, right? Yeah, you will feel the limit. Oh yeah, see I'm trying to get it going, but it's like, that's crazy. Like it's per totally protecting me right now. Every time it's just about to start flipping out the back end, it'll control the steering for me. Oh, there we go. It's crazy that it's actually hard to drift. Oh, here we go. The wheel's turning a little bit. It's so safe, it's like protecting me protecting me from myself. Here we go, okay. I can feel the little, I just want to swing the back end out a little bit. Woo! Definitely not as professional as you are, but I got a little bit of it coming out. You're doing well. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, I was trying to be dangerous and it wasn't letting me be dangerous. It really does feel in a way like we're driving on asphalt. I can already imagine what some of the comments are gonna be. They're gonna be like, oh great, you can drive faster on there. Well, you still can't stop on ice that well. They have left me out here in the middle of nowhere. The car just left. But we are back on the ice track. <laughs> they use this for regenerative braking technology testing. The car is gonna come to a complete stop all on its own just by using the motors or the engines. This is something that if you've never driven an electric car before, you have a hard time understanding what it's like to have regenerative braking as you let off the accelerator pedal, the car automatically starts to slow down for you. I kind of like to be in the middle. Like I like regenerative braking, but I don't like full regenerative braking. See the acceleration is coming. And then there we go. Bam, we hit the ice. We're sliding and you can see 
It shows that it's slipping. You can see the regenerative braking being smart about it. It's only on about 20% usage right now. That's kind of the things that they can test out in these extreme environments is to have the car be smart enough so that next time you're driving and taking your kids to school and you hit a sheet of black ice, instead of the regenerative braking going to complete 100% and not being smart about it and having you your back end slide out and then you crash, it should be able to recognize and utilize the brakes in the proper way to keep you the safest. Now, if you drive an electric car, it's a huge bonus versus driving on a gas car. Even if you push full throttle acceleration here on the snow, the car is just going to nicely go as quick as it can, but it's smart enough to know what is safe. This shot right here is from a car that is 100% full throttle down, but it's in the comfort mode. And you can see the wheel barely even spins. If I full throttle on the ice, is that okay? Yeah. Full throttle. Barely even moving. It, the controls, it's crazy. I'm pushing the accelerator pedal down all the way and it's not even going that fast because it knows we're on a sheet of ice. Now we're off and then it picks up. There are a lot of cool jobs out there. Being a YouTuber is one of them, but apparently being an engineer for Mercedes Benz in Sweden is also a very, very cool job. It is 16 degrees, minus 16 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it is cold. We have 46% battery right now. There's top secret cars that are out here driving right now that they're camouflaged that I can't even show. Ooh, there they go. There they go. Can't show those ones. So you could test something out see something that you liked or didn't like and then change it that night and the next day come out and the car interacts differently with the snow. Not even the next day, we do it five minutes later. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. All right, so real-time testing. They can make changes to the software of the car, of how regenerative braking works, of how the slippage, of how much the wheel in the back needs to turn when you're coming around certain corners. I know when I talked to the CEO of Mercedes-Benz, he talked about Really, in the future, they want all the cars to have over-the-air updates. And what would be nice is, over time, as they test things, you get live updates to your car so that your car interacts differently. But I needed my toes to not be so cold. And so I've been sitting here for like 10 minutes in the car, waiting for my toes to get warm. And I think it's good now. I wish that I had this when I was a kid because maybe I would have been a little bit safer driving. Let me know your thoughts. What did you think about Sweden? What do you think about Mercedes-Benz? Does this change your thoughts about Mercedes-Benz as a company? I know for me coming up here and seeing what these cars can do and how much thought and purpose goes into every single bit of the inside and the outside of these cars, makes me more confident to go, you know what? This is a safe car for my family. I'm really grateful that I get to do weird things like this. I'm a YouTuber, I make fun videos, and because you guys watch them, I get to come to Sweden and watch cars drift. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see ya. The northern lights came out. You know those colorful lights? You can't really see them, like, with your blind eye out here with everything on. You need to turn off all the lights. I had the G-Wagons just taking another laugh out there just for fun. Love it. If anybody needs a uh, drift driver for a movie, um, I'm still not your guy, he's your guy, but <laughs> I'll come watch and ride in the car. This is like the warmest jacket in the history of the world. <laughs> Look at this.